Hey guys, welcome to the Nature Channel. So in this video, I'll be checking out the Re uh, Mini Wireless Keyboard Touchpad uh, X8. So the main reason why I bought this is because there's a scroll wheel on it. So I bought this to use on my Android box. So I thought it just makes it a bit easier to uh, navigate uh, using like a little mini keyboard, beats using uh, uh, the supply remote control. So uh, this type of design is quite common online. There's lots of like little remote control, uh, little remote uh, mini keyboards that with this shape. But uh, this one has the scroll wheel. So this one's from Re. Uh, so this design is very popular. I do have one already that doesn't have the scroll wheel. So I thought uh, Re is a very good brand. I have uh, the Re wireless keyboard, the plain basic one, and also one that's that's a knockoff, which is a copy of it, not made by Re. And the quality is a big difference. Uh, the unbranded one that I bought which is a copy of the Re Mini wireless keyboard I dropped it on the floor and it literally fell apart so from that experience I do know Re do make a uh, quality uh, mini wireless keyboards so when I was after one that's the main reason why I bought this and also to be honest there wasn't much uh, choice actually with a lot of mini keyboards with a lot of scroll wheel on it as well so so this is the X8 this one so as you can see there read uh, they are a very popular brand uh, which means that there are a lot of fakes out there so on there you see there, there's a lot of QR code there and then there's a lot of scratch panel there if you scratch that they give you a serial number so this you can go on the re website and you can check that and make sure that you you have a genuine uh, re product okay so as you can see in the box there this can be used on Windows um, Mac OS Linux Android, Smart TV, and PS4, and even PS5. So basically anything with a USB uh, input, you can use a dongle on this, and you can uh, use this keyboard on that product. And also you can see there, it's got the RGB lights as well, so it has a mini backlight as well, RGB. So if your game is out there, and you're into your RG uh, backlight RGB, uh, this will probably most likely suit your setup as well. Uh, so on the side there, not much Info again, just a re mini wireless keyboard. Not much on the side. So let's see on the butt there. So again, just saying uh, emphasis on mini wireless keyboard, uh, portable size, unique input experience, and wireless connection. So the great thing with this design is that you do have a full QWERTY keyboard. Uh, so everything that you need to use is on here. So um, it just makes it e life a bit easier as well and on the back here as well so again it uh, just emphasizes the the specs of this keyboard so you can see there this is a unique scrolling experience because of the scroll wheel that's the main reason why i bought this uh, the touchpad uh, the dpi is adjustable and it just lets you know that uh, you can control your content on pc smart tvs and uh, other entertainment systems and here there's got Amazon sticker that's actually uh, stuck over some of this info as well. Just let you know this backlight keys as well. So if you use this in, in the dark, there is the backlight key, uh, backlight lights, so you can see the buttons in the dark as well. So let's uh, dive into this and check out this little mini keyboard. So let's open this out. So straight away, there's a the mini keyboard there as you see it's in like poly bag there so just put that to one side for now see what else we've got here so we've got instruction manuals so not some it's pretty basic keyboard so there's not much that you that's that you actually need to look at the instructions let's put it to one side cable so it's a supplied uh, mini USB so, so it's a supplied mini USB C no not C sorry mini, mini USB so it, there is a mini USB cable supplied here. No power brick, but there is a charging cable. Okay, let's wrap to one side. So I'll wrap this. And boom, so that's, this is this is the keyboard here. Okay, so the great thing with this type of mini keyboard, which I have used uh, these type of keyboards before, they're a nice size. It feels nice in your hand. It, I think, just fits into place. So the screw, scroll wheel here is in the best placement for your thumb to scroll so it's really easy accessible and comfortable to use you got your buttons there so it does have a nice clicky sound so I don't know if you can hear that so so there's a nice clicky sound to the buttons there okay so you got your touchpad there 
so you can also not only is you can use a control uh, use a touch pad uh, to use it as your pointer, but you can also like you can see there uh, one tap for uh, the left button, uh, two fingers to tap for the right button, and also you can scroll around up and down as well using two fingers as well. So I'll just turn this on there. So you can see that the lights are not very bright. So I've got to set a green at the moment. Uh, so I am in a bright environment and at the moment with lights as well. So you can't really see the backlight that much. Uh, but the lights are adjustable. You can change the colors as well. So you press the FN button here. And then this Windows button here. You can scroll through the different types of colors on the RGB as well. You can see there. So you can't see very well. So let me just turn the lights, dim the lights a bit so you can have a better look at the lights. Let me see, is that okay? So to be honest, this on this mini keyboard, it's not actually very, it's not actually very bright. So let me see if I can just adjust it so you can get a, better look of how I'm seeing it. Okay, so as standard, you can see there's RGB lights there. It's not very bright, and as you can see there, you can't really even make out the buttons, what the keys are. You can just about make it out. So you can scroll through different colors as well. So that's the standard RGB colors. You press the FN button and the Windows button there. You can scroll through the light. So you got red there, green, Blue, like a light lime color, I suppose. A light green, uh, like a pink, pink st stroke purple, like turquoise, and off as well. So if you, if you find the lights annoying, you can always turn the lights off as well. So you can see the lights are not very bright. So I have another mini keyboard here as well. This is, again, this is from Bree as well. I, I put the review on this keyboard on another video. video. So this is the i4. I can see the lights are night and day. So on this one, you can see that straight away. It is really bright. And uh, the, the buttons are a little bit bigger, but you can see the, the letters on the, on the keyboard, you can see it's really clear. Again, this, uh, this keyboard has a scroll wheel as well. So if you guys are looking after a mini keyboard and you want something with a scroll wheel like myself, then maybe this is one that you should consider as well. So I'll just put this side by side so you can actually get a good look at both of them together. So you can see that even from there, the, the white light one is so much more brighter. You can see the letters much more clearly. If I just scroll through the different colors, so red. So you can see the backlight on the X8 is not very bright. But it does so you get a rough idea of it compared to the i4. So obviously this video is about the X8, but I'll just use this to uh, it'd be I think it'd be a nice comparison. Okay, so I'll just turn the lights on. Okay, so lights are back on again. So again, so uh, so this is the X8 here, and this is the i4. So by, side by side, you can see as well, even difference in size as well. So let's give you a rough idea as well. So the X8 is a bit smaller, and it does fit in your hand a little bit easier. Uh, but even, but they are very, very similar. I mean, they are from the same manufacturer. So this is the i4, which I'll cover in another video. Again, I mean, this is the X8, and you can see there. So, the white lights not get picked up very well at the moment because it's, I'm in quite a really bright environment. My, all my lights are on. You can just about make out the the RGB lights there. So that's the green there. I think you can see a bit more clearly because because it is a different color compared to white. So it just stands out a bit more. So it just depends what you want like. So you can see there. It's a nice little touch of color there. You can just about make out make out. Okay, so uh, overall, I do think it's a really good keyboard. The main thing for me is that it feels nice in the hand. Uh, I could do this by one-handed, I'm scrolling up and down. It just feels really nice and natural in my hand. 
and I can use this side to like navigate around. Uh, the only thing here is like I think it's not really convenient with the mouse button, left button, right button, but on each side. So I guess if you use the two hands and you hold it like control pad, you can like left click, right click. So you can use this side, left click, right click, scroll like this. Uh, the keyboard there, so all the buttons that you would require are there as well, including the home button, a menu button, a mute button, volume button, and also a lot of various other different keys there. You can see there. If you want a better look, you can always pause the video and have a look at the, the buttons that are on here. Uh, one downside in here as well, the charger at the bottom here is mini USB. So would I like it to be USB-C, would it make life so much more easier. But on this one, it's only mini USB. So this is the back panel as well. So if you just open this, it does come with a, the battery is supplied with it as well. And there is a um, USB dongle for you to plug it into whatever device you're using it with. For some reason, they made it blue for some reason. I don't know why that is. Would I prefer it to be black? like the main unit itself, but it is what it is. So that's a, a blue mini uh, USB dongle. You just plug that in and it's plug and, plug, and, uh, plug and play. So that's it. So overall, a really nice little mini keyboard. Feels nice in your hand. Really love the scroll wheel. So at the moment, uh, when I was looking for a mini keyboard with a scroll wheel, I think Reed's the only one, I think, that actually does a mini keyboard with a scroll wheel. So if you do see any other mini keyboards with scroll wheel, let me know. Uh, I'd be interested to check them out as well. But at the moment, when I was looking for one, the only ones that I could find were mini scroll wheel uh, was from Re. Uh, at the bottom here, mini mini USB. Would have preferred to be uh, USB C, but um, yeah, it's only mini USB. So that's for me. That's that's a bit disappointing. That uh, that's one. Uh, that's only the disappointment I've got about this. But other than that, and also the lights really as well, because uh, usually when I use it in at night, uh, I do like the, the buttons to be nice and clear. And for me, the lights on this are not bright enough. It would be nice if they put an option here for a white light as well. So uh, so maybe it would have stood up more. But from this one, from what I can see, for me, the lights are too dim. They're not bright enough. But overall, I think it's a good buy. It does what it needs to do. Uh, the only downside for me on this for personally for myself is the mini USB charging and also the lights on here are not bright enough so uh, I hope you guys find this video useful if you use this mini keyboard before let me know what your experience is if you do think it's really good let me know if you if there's any disadvantages you find on this mini keyboard let me know or if you've got any other keyboard that you want to really recommend to me, let me know down below in the comment section. So I hope this video is really useful, guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my video yet, please click on the subscribe button. If you haven't clicked on the like button yet, click on the like button. And as always, guys, hope to see you soon. And ciao for now.